Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Summer is here, and the travel season is here. But with so many beautiful places around the world, it can be hard to choose where you want to go. So, don't know where to go in June? Keep watching! In this video, we'll share the best destinations to visit in June. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on which destination you like the most. But now, let's get started. Serengeti National Park, Seeing the Great Migration. In Serengeti National Park is an amazing safari experience, and June is usually a good time to witness it, though nature doesn't always stick to schedules. Head to the Western Corridor area to see herds of wildebeest, gazelles, and zebras moving north for food and water. Since June is part of Serengeti's dry season, there are fewer trees and plants in the way to block your view, and fewer mosquitoes. Daytime temperatures are usually in the 70s, but mornings and evenings can be chilly, so bring warm clothes. Florence. In June, Florence has long sunny days, great for seeing the city's famous art and buildings. If it gets too hot, around 80 degrees, you can cool off in cool museums like the Uffizi Gallery. Since it's busy in summer, book your restaurant and hotel spots early. And don't miss out on the fun festivals, like trying local wine at Mostra del Chianti or celebrating Florence's patron saint at Festa di San Giovanni. Copenhagen. Just imagine having up to 17 hours of daylight in June in Copenhagen. With so much time, you can explore everything this Danish city has to offer. Besides the many museums, the pleasant 60-degree temperatures make outdoor activities popular. You can kayak on the water, relax in a floating hot tub for cooler days, or take a boat tour. Don't forget to visit the city's green spaces, like the King's Garden. And when the sun finally sets, you'll find plenty of excellent restaurants to choose from, thanks to Copenhagen's famous dining scene. Barbados Barbados is perfect for June travelers who want a beach getaway without spending a lot. While June is the start of the rainy season, rain usually comes in quick showers, so you still get plenty of sunshine. Plus, there are fewer tourists and flights and hotels cost less. The savings mean you can splurge on fun activities, like a tasting or cocktail workshop at the Mount Gay Rum Visitor Center, the oldest rum distillery in the world. Edinburgh. Even though Edinburgh is famous for its gloomy weather, the city brightens up in the summer. With temperatures around the mid-60s and days lasting 17 hours, you'll have lots of time to explore. Visit the impressive Edinburgh Castle, hike up to Arthur's Seat, or wander around the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh's Four Gardens. You can also check out local markets, fairs, and events like Pride Edinburgh. If you want to see Scotland's beautiful countryside, take a short bus ride to Pentland Hills Regional Park, a great spot for a summer day out. Lake Tahoe. You can't go wrong visiting Lake Tahoe with its sunny days all year round. But June is special, kicking off summer fun with farmers markets, free concerts, and beer festivals. While the water might be too cold for swimming, you can still enjoy beautiful views on boat tours, drives, bike rides, or hikes around the lake. And with temperatures in the 60s to 70s, it's the perfect time for outdoor adventures. The Canary Islands. The Canary Islands offer year-round sunshine, golden beaches, and clear waters. This Spanish archipelago off Africa's northwest coast is also home to unique natural attractions like four national parks with dunes, forests, and volcanoes plus a rich cultural heritage. Visit in June for the lively Corpus Christi celebrations, featuring parades, dances, and flower-covered streets, and the San Juan Festival with its summer solstice bonfires. Just remember, summer is popular, so book your trip early. Amalfi Coast June is the perfect summer month on the Amalfi Coast. It's warm enough for the beaches, but not too hot yet, and the crowds are just starting to arrive. When you're not relaxing on the pebbly shores, you can explore the region's 13 towns along the Tyrrhenian Sea, hike the Path of the Gods, or stroll through the gardens at Villa Ruffalo or Villa Simbrone, still blooming before the heat sets in. Plus, June kicks off festival season, like the Regatta of the Ancient Maritime Republics and the Festival of Sant'Antonio. Aruba. For the ultimate beach vacation under the hot summer sun, Aruba is the place to be. Enjoy sunny days on the powdery white sands of Eagle Beach or try bodyboarding at the secluded Andacuri Beach. If you need a break from the beach, explore Aracoc National Park with its rock formations, coastal views, and abundant flora. 
Aruba's weather is consistently pleasant since it's outside the hurricane belt, but June offers warmer water and fewer tourists, making room rates more affordable. Paris Paris is always a good idea, but it often has gloomy weather in the colder months. In June, daytime highs in the low 70s bring warmth and sunshine, perfect for exploring the city's beautiful architecture and iconic sites like the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe, or enjoying a boat cruise on the Seine. Seasonal festivals and concerts also start popping up around the city. Just remember, summer is peak tourist season, so expect crowds and higher accommodation rates. That's it, folks. The best places to visit in June. Comment which destination you like the most. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Safe travels. Bye.